1529 forecast. As I first advertised a week ago, winds of change would be blowing into town this weekend. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick, and that change is a cooler airflow. Recently, we've had abnormally warm conditions in the 70s and 80s. Well, this weekend, we're going to go nearly 10 degrees below average in the 60s for daytime highs today, tomorrow, and also on Monday. Now, with the longer overnights and these cooler temperatures, this will help to change our fall foliage. You can also get this fall foliage report anytime right there on the Storm Team 29 weather app. So over the next couple of weeks, especially for the Blue Ridge, Shenandoah Valley, you're going to be nearing peak color. And especially later on next week and next weekend, we're going to have a lot more color over Central Virginia. Now with the drought conditions, it, the, the fall colors may not be quite as vibrant as years past. For today, though, a passing shower between now and about 9 a.m. Otherwise, some, some sunshine will uh, begin to break on out from late morning, midday into the afternoon. Temperatures will be stuck in the 60s all day long, noticeably cooler. Yesterday, we hit the low 80s. Today, it's more like the 60s area wide with a gusty northwest wind. And sunset now is at 648. So heading on out to Scott Stadium as William and Mary come to town to take on the Hoos at midday. We're going to be in the 60s. You'll need that sweatshirt or the jacket because it'll be noticeably cooler compared to the last week or so. But it will be on the dry side, maybe passing shower early for early tailgaters this morning. Right now we're in the 50s in the valley, low to mid 60s across central Virginia. NBC 29's live Doppler radar scope is showing a little bit of rainfall with that cold front moving on through. There's a live view from Airport Road Route 29. A little shower begin to push on through with ground dampening conditions, and we're seeing that along ID1 from Harrisonburg, Stanton, Waynesboro, through Augusta County, Rockingham, and down into Lovingston and also into Nelson. County and the big picture showing as that cold front moves to the east. Well, a lot of the moisture is being absorbed from what was tropical storm Philippe. It's no longer a tropical system, but it's moving into areas of the northeast with soaking rainfall, and that's really absorbing uh, most of the rainfall. So here at home, just enough to dampen the ground. But look at these northwest winds back to the west. That's going to bring in some much cooler conditions over the next few days and nights. You can see that bubble of chilly air across the Midwest, northern plains. So the stage is set for below average conditions for a little while longer. Any showers long gone by late morning, midday sunshine comes out this afternoon. Clear skies tonight, fair skies tomorrow. A few more clouds will return on Monday. Here's Monday evening. Futurecast wants to paint a couple of rain showers, but we are dry Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday into Friday, Friday night into Saturday. Here comes our next chance for some beneficial rain forecast today. Expect any shower to uh, quickly exit this morning. Highs in the 60s on both sides of the Blue Ridge. Clouds and sun with a gusty northwest wind. 20 to 35 mile hour wind gusts. Tonight, chilly, clear skies in the low and mid 40s by this time tomorrow morning. And your forecast on Sunday, we're back in the 50s for the valley. Low to mid 60s over central Virginia with gusty northwest winds with a blend of clouds and sun. Here's your seven day forecast. How about 30s and 40s on Monday morning? Monday, clouds and sun, but mainly dry. Could be a late day shower. And with these cooler overnights, ragweed pollen is going to be at peak. Really, ragweed doesn't come down until after we get our first frost. And by the way, there might be a touch of frost in the valley come Monday morning in the open countryside. 70 Tuesday, Wednesday, mid 70s Thursday. And we'll watch for some beneficial rain later Friday and the start of next weekend. Yeah, we're now finally feeling that fall weather. Oh, yes. Weather weather is here for a while. Well, thank you so much, Josh. We're going to take a quick look outside. Still a little dark. OK, still very dark. The time now is 613. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be right back after this. Stick with